Good evening, everyone. Welcome to my channel, Second Math Hub, the solution to your math problems. Ghana teacher line essential exams. Numeracy, the year is 2022. Um, using the same preamble, we're told that we should use the preamble to answer question 22 to 24. So for now, I want us to look at question 23. I read, out of those who voted in JHS2, what fraction voted for Linda? What fraction voted for Linda? So this question is clearly about fraction. And then we know that fraction represents part of a whole. Fraction represents part of a whole. So to get the fraction, first of all, we need to identify our whole. So from the question, out of those who voted in JHS2, so the total vote casted in JHS2 here becomes the whole. What fraction voted for Linda? So the part here becomes those who voted for Linda. So without wasting my time, let's quickly provide a solution to question 23. So first of all, let's calculate the whole. So the whole here is the total vote casted in JHS2. JHS2. So, from the table, what is the total vote casted in JHS2? JHS2, we have 20 plus 35. 20 plus 35. 20 plus 35. And that should give us 55. So, the total vote casted in JHS2 is 55. It's 55. Five. And out of the total votes casted in JHS2, how many votes did Linda accrue? So from the table, we could see that at the JHS column, Linda obtained only 20 votes. Linda obtained 20 votes. So fraction. So fraction, who voted for Linda? So that is those who voted for Linda divided by the total votes. So we could see that from the table, Linda obtained only 20 votes. Once we're talking about fraction, divided by the total vote casted in JHS2, which is 55. And we said that in fractions, or anytime you are working with fractions, we need to uh, leave our answer in the simplest or lowest form. Simplest or lowest form. And as you can see, 20 out of 55, this is not in the lowest form. So how do we do this? Again, during the exams, calculators are allowed. So we can easily reduce this using our calculator. So on our calculator, we just enter 20 out of 55. Just enter there common fraction into the calculator's memory. We press the equal sign. And this is giving me 4 out of 11. 4 out of 11. So from the alternatives, from the alternatives, the right answer is C. See you next time.